Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to price options. To price an option, we construct a portfolio of stocks and bonds. which replicates the option. So let's see an example of this. Let's suppose that A of 0 is equal to 20. S of 0 is equal to 20. So the price of a bond initially is 20 and the price of a stock initially is 20. And I will assume that after one year, the price of the bond is 25. And now we know by the arbitrage principle that the lower price of the stock and the upper price of the stock have to be sandwiched between 25. So what we'll do is we will assume that S of 1 is equal to 30 with probability P and 15 with probability 1 minus P. So we have a tree model for this probability. So what will happen over here is we'll have our stock price of 20 and 20 will either go to 30 in one node and it will go to 15 in another node. And this is with probability P and with probability 1 minus P. So now we'll see what our option is worth. Our option, so we price our option. We set C1, the price of my option at time one, to be alpha times A1 plus beta times S1 for some values of alpha and beta which we need to find. Now, we write this as two equations and two unknowns. So, the value of my call option, my call will either be worth what? If the price goes up to 30, I will have a gain of 10. So I'll either gain 10 on my stock price. Or if it goes down to 15, I will execute the call and I will gain zero. So this happens with probability P, and this happens with probability 1 minus p. So what does our system of equations become? Our system of equations becomes 10 is equal to alpha a1 plus beta s1 and will be equal to alpha a1 plus beta s1. And now what are s1 in each of these cases? In the first case, the case when we get a gain of 10, that means that S1 has to be 30. In this case, when, when we get a gain of nothing, we don't execute the option, S1 is 15. And in both cases, A1 is 25. 25 and 25. So now we have the following system of equations. Our system of equations is 10 is alpha times 25 plus beta times 30 and 0 is equal to alpha times 25 plus beta times 15. Now I will take these equations and subtract them since they both have a 25 alpha. If I subtract these equations, I will have that 10 is equal to 15 beta, so beta is 2 thirds. Now we can plug it back into either one of the equations to find out what alpha is. If beta is 2 thirds, then this equation over here will tell me that alpha times 25 plus 2 thirds of 15 is equal to 0. 2 thirds of 15 is equal to 10. So that will tell me that alpha is negative 10 over 25 or negative 2 fifths. What this tells me to do is this tells me to replicate the option What we will need to do is the following. At the initial time of zero, C of zero, will be alpha 
times a zero, so it'll be negative two fifths a zero, plus two thirds s zero. So we can simplify what this is. This will be negative two fifths. We know that a zero is 20 plus two thirds of 20. And so what we will see over here is that this will be negative 40 over five. And this will be plus 40 over three. So we can simplify this a little bit further. This is negative 120. So this is going to be 40 times 5 is 200. So 200 minus 120 over 15. So that tells me that C0 will be equal to 80 over 15. And 80 over 15 is 16 over 3. So this tells me that the price of the option should be 16 over 3. So let's see why this is the case. So there are two things that can happen. Case 1 is the case when the stock price goes down, in the case when S of 1 is 15. In this case, our portfolio will gain us what? If S of 1 is 15, we will have 2 thirds of 15 minus 2 fifths of the final price, 25. And we'll see 2 thirds of 15 is 10, and negative 2 fifths times 25 is negative 10, so we will get zero. In case two, when S of one is 30, we will have, this is case two, we will have two thirds, not of 15, but two thirds of 30, minus two fifths of 25, and this will be 20, minus 10, which is 10. So in either case, I will get zero with this initial portfolio in the case when S1 is 15, or I will get 10 with this initial portfolio if the stock price goes up to 30. So with this choice of portfolio, if I borrow negative two-fifths of a bond and I buy two-thirds of a stock, that portfolio will replicate the option. So we have figured out a way to price the option which is consistent with the arbitrage principle. Thank you very much.